washer at home broke. And now I'm at the laundromat doing some clothes. And just a moment, I'm going to show you what not to do when you shoot film, particularly a disposable camera. Okay, I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back. So I've got the clothes on the washer and now it is time to tell you guys what not to do when shooting film for your very first time, especially if it's a disposable film camera. So recently my fiance and I were in uh, London and I thought it'd be fun to compare to using my Canon TSLR I would instead use a Kodak disposable uh, camera. So I got the photos back and they're really cool. Love all the colors, but here's what not to do. Number one, do not put your finger over the lens on the camera. So the lens on the camera it's not a, um, you can't look into the viewfinder and actually see what the camera is going to take a photo of. It's just kind of a visual reference of, hey, your photo is generally going to be this. Um, so as you can see in this image, that top part of the photo is my finger. But if you look at the image itself, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I love all the colors. It was a rainy day. Uh, this is Hannah, my gorgeous uh, fiance. And I love everything about this image, but my finger. So, rule one do not put your finger on the lens of the camera. And rule two um, the Kodak uh, Fun Saver has a shutter speed of 1 over 100. And with that being said, you can't ex exactly like uh, shoot subjects on the move just because it'll end up blurry like this. And the uh, hard thing is, is I was walking around a lot uh, we were trying to see everything in and anything in four days and I didn't really have time to just stop pose t take a photo so I was attempting to capture like scenes I liked or p people's outfits I liked so if you look closely into th this image here Notice how it's blurry. Um, it's not very sharp. I mean, it is a camera that only costs $10. But also, it's a film camera that could look pretty sharp if you use it properly. And I was too much of this. Or like, oh cool, bow, cool, bow. But instead, you need to hold your camera, click, hold, click. So rule two is take your camera, take at least two seconds to just stand still and click. And rule three about the Kodak Fun Saver is that it performs a lot better outdoors with uh, sunlight versus being indoors. If you look at this image here, it looks very classic um, dark film with greens in there. Um, you, you don't really see the detail in my coat or anything because it's just too dark. Um, but if you go over to say, uh, if you go over to this image here, so you could clearly see that I took time to stand still, take a photo, 
and honestly I love colors in this it looks great in my opinion so that's just another uh, t tip is if you're shooting a Kodak disposable camera to shoot outdoors or if you want that indoor dark look then to that uh, for me I personally like the outdoors look and recap one watch your hands watch them watch 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 don't put your finger on the lens of your camera because it'll just get in the way of your photo and then it looks stupid so just don't do it rule two take your time at least two three seconds find your image stop pause and click its shutter speed is only one over a hundred so it won't be able to capture people walking at higher speeds and then rule three is it doesn't perform to my personal liking indoors but it does really well outdoors so if you're going to shoot the Kodak to disposable camera shoot outdoors alright guys um, th that was my personal uh, first experience with they or with any f film at all so I honestly really enjoyed it it was kind of expensive it was about a dollar per photo so is it an expensive first try practice go ahead yes oh that's my timer because my clothes are done so um in the future god stop 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 in the future i will be doing more film work for right now i'm gonna do half and half um i'm just gonna kind of possibly two times a month i don't know once a week um i think it'd be cool to test out film rolls hannah has a pentax k1000 so i think i'm gonna steal it from her and t t test it out a bit so be on the lookout for film stuff tutorials and i promise you promise you i know i have not been uploading near as much as i was saying i was going to but i've got some big stuff in the works let's just say the end of this year is going to be kind of practice and everything but 2020 is going to be big okay thanks bye